the Octonauts and the Kelp Forest Rescue. Spiffy uniform, Peso. Our special visitor will be impressed. Thank you, Captain. Tweak, progress report. The guppy is almost here, Cap. It should be arriving in one minute. Octonauts, let's give our guest of honor a ship-shaped welcome. Form a line. Permission to open the octa hatch, Cap. Permission granted. Here we are, the octopod. Pinto! Peso! Captain Barnacles and my fellow octonauts, this is my little brother Pinto. Welcome aboard, Pinto. Oh, thanks. This is Professor Inkling, <laughs> Tunip and Tweak. Hi. Was your trip okay? It was the best ride ever. Quasi taught me how to talk like a pirate. Aye, matey. Shiver me flippers. <laughs> this is for you, me hearty. Welcome aboard the Octopod. <sighs> Do I look like a real pirate? Yow! Yer! I'm ready for action. <clears throat> and this is Dashy and Shellington. Hello. It was great to meet you, Pinto. We'll see you when we get back. Are they taking the gut E on a real mission right now? Yes, they're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. <laughs> I want to go on a mission, too. Let me show you around the octopod first. Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I'm... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. <laughs> now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. <laughs> Wait! Aha! Ha, ha. Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. Aha! Last one there for your rotten fish egg. <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Captain, what's going on? We've just received a call for help from the Guppy. Captain Barnacle's here. Go ahead, Dashy. Captain, we seem to be stuck. Can you locate us? Uh oh, Cap. We've lost radio contact. Dashy and Shellington are stuck, and we've got to get them unstuck. Hmm, I wonder what they're stuck in. We'll find out when we get to them, and we need to get to them fast. Can I come too? Oh, please, 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 please! No, it might not be safe. Your big brother's right, Pinto. You better stay here with the Vegemals. <sighs> I'll tell you all about it when we get back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
And if anybody gets hurt, you can count on me. The Gupsy's tow line could be handy for pulling dashing Sheldon out of trouble, Cap. Thank you, Tweak. Open the Octo Hatch. <laughs> Do you see anything yet, Quasi? Yow! That's got to be them! Captain, we may be dealing with a dabalock. What's a... a dabalock? It looks like a plant, but once you get close, it reaches out with its giant green arms and grabs a ship. And when does it let go? Never. Ever. Ever. Where's the dabalock? Where is it? Where'd it go? Pinto, how did you sneak aboard? Aha! A stowaway! Wait, dead ahead. There they are. Whoa! Is that the double orc? Octonauts, here's the plan. Quasi, you go around the back and I'll... Quasi! Double <laughs> You can't hold me here, you scurvy beast! So much for the plan. Activate helmets. Oh, oh can I go too? No. no. Uh, Quasi, we may not be dealing with a Dabalock after all. Uh, of course not. I know Dabaloks, Captain. This is no Dabalock. Hmm. It looks like a plant to me. It is a plant. A type of seaweed called kelp. We're at the edge of a kelp forest. Dashie and Shellington are trapped in the kelp. We've got to get them out. We'll have to use the tow line to pull them out. Peso, check on Shellington. Quasi. Let's get the tow line. Huh? <gasps> this kelp is strong. We'll have to pull really hard. No, wait. The guppy isn't the only thing stuck in there. Look. We have to be careful. If we pull too hard, it could hurt those baby snails. You're right, but we have to free the gup right now. It's... it's like a bandage. They're just wrapped up in a giant bandage. Hmm. Do you think you could unwrap it? Yes, sir. That's a lot of unwrapping to do, Captain. And we do have a spare helmet. Pinto? Aye, aye, Captain! Remember, this is a real mission. I'll follow your orders, just like a real Optonaut. Optonauts, take your positions. If you don't mind. Captain, peel from the top. Aye, aye, Peso. Quasi, take it under. Aye, aye, Peso. Pinto, open that leaf. Thank you for saving the baby snails. And us. Oh. <laughs> Your brother kept everybody safe today. Thanks to you, Peso. Our mission was a success. Oh. <laughs> Can I try on your hat? Actually, I made this for you. If you want it. I <sighs> know I'm a pirate and a medic. You can swashbuckle. And swash bandage. Just like a real octonaut. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Octonauts and the leafy sea dragons. Look at this video coming in from Dashi. She's in a kelp forest. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, whoa. Is everything all right out there? 
The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. Don't know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. No, oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh, the water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gut is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, no, back, Dad. Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Dad, no. Just keep calm and blend in. <laughs> well done. You're blending in perfectly, boys. Wait, Dad. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed! <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time! Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank, so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate! Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! Now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Chop! Pound! Mix! brought quite a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah, hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashi, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor? <gasps> Leafy sea dragons! I completely missed them! Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gap, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashy, you take the sick bay. Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this! Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi, stop that stew! Quasi, 
To the kitchen. Jump. Chop Help. Uh -huh. Mix. Okay. Oil. Oh. The last little bit of help coming up, mateys. Oh, nowhere to hide. Let's pirate for don't eat me. Stop that stew. <laughs> what did you say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp! What? Where? In your paw! Shiver me whiskers! Do your worst, pirate! But, but don't hurt us! I'm not gonna hurt you, mateys! I thought you were kelp! But you're a pirate! I'm also an octonaut, and octonauts help little critters like you! I think you'd just like to go back home! Yes! But we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now, where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in the current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gapi followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the Guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad! Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah. There's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry, we'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Gotcha! You're safe now! Whoa, thank you! Don't worry, little fellas! I've got your dad! Dad! You're safe! I'm coming, boys! I'm just fine! Oh, my! It's good to be back home with my boys! Oh, we've all had quite an adventure! Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys. Let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirate stew. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> mission today, Captain. I'm ready for anything. Shiver me whiskers. What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton. That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh... Oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. But what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. 
Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix them. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... No! Woohoo! I've got it started! But how do I get it to stop? It stops! <laughs> Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, <sighs> no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, a lot of it back. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Oh, Left, right, see skate. monkeys, uncle. Left, right, it's a skate. bug walking Left, on water. Right, Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true, I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> what do you she-skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast. And it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's eat it again. Hey, coon, coon. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and hurry. Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Skate. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gut finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find him before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out. And I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Dashie, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh no, Quasi's out there, while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm, any luck opening the octo hatch tree? Uh, no, we gotta... <laughs> Unjam the octa hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey, you're talking to a speed skater, man. <laughs> Don't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. That's not fair. <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't say little. Uh, no. I mean, yes, uh... Coming through! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <sighs> That's as far as I can get it. Uh, I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? <laughs> Really?
really big wave, and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Quick, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Whoa! Hang on, kid. Okay, Sally, time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the baby? Well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard! It's okay, hon. I've got the... My ah! baby! Mommy! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids. I've got you. Here you go. Tiger! He's gone. Stay with your baby. I'll get him. Should be quasi any minute, Cap. Ah, there's nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh, hello. Um, who are you? Never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Spider! Need a lift? No worries. <laughs> what makes you think I need a... Whoa! Are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bard. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right. You may be little, but you do big things. No, no, no. I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bubble. <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> right on time, Captain! We open the windscreen! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> I quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quad. You too, Tweak. Hear it? Don't mind if I do. Mmm! Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things! <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Jawfish. Attention creatures, the ocean current is extra strong today, so please be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need some help getting to safety? No, I'm moving. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was Daddy 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 Bay. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Looks just like a mother stone. Here, get this one. Last one. Oh, the current! Oh, oh, oh no, oh, no! The current swept his eggs away. Don't worry, we'll find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. 
Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jockfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. See? The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker? The current has travelled along these cliffs, over these geysers and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. <laughs> Yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. <laughs> Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg vax! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Hey, sir, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Hmm. These are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. That manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Others down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. That's not very nice. Let's get you back to your dad. You found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. Oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. Keep trying. Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Hello, mateys. <laughs> Captain, I've rescued two eggs. Good work, Quasi. And I'm about to snag a third. <laughs> Shiver me, whiskers. The egg. <laughs> In you go, Ozzy. Oh, you're a cute little nipper. Oh, yes, you are. Special egg delivery. Say, ah. Uh. Tune it. Did you find one this time? <coughs> no, that's a seashell. <coughs> Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa. So it might get tricky. Hey. Oops. Close. Whoa. Nearly. Whoa. Bingo. <laughs> Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, hey, hey. Nine down. Still one to go. It's Jimmy Jr., named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geezers, and the trench, but there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Jr. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Activate 
egg bags. Current's too strong for the egg bags. We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Hold this. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Oh. Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. <laughs> Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Time, man. Yeah, enjoy. Quasi, what did you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Junior is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get them. See you later, Shockies. We proudly return with the one and only Jimmy Junior. Oh no! Oh no! no. I, I had him in my paw. He, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. That's a clam. That's an egg. That's an egg. Tune him. You found Jimmy Junior. Who's that? Ah, we found all ten. Great job, Octopus. I am. Shellington. What did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah! You're a little daredevil, aren't you? Thanks, Jimmy Jr. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> The Octonauts and the Gulper Eels. Okay, Dashie. Ready to test the Octomax suit? Ready. Let's start with the robotic arms. Robotic arms? Check. Now the jackhammer. Jackhammer. Check. All right. Now let's test those cameras. Front view. Check. Side view. Check. Oh, hi, Quasi, Professor. Wow, how'd you see us? With my rear view camera. Check. What in the seven seas is this thing? A diving suit or a gup? Both. It's as strong as a gup, but small enough to get into tight spaces where the gups can't go. We call it the, the Octomax suit. The Octomax suit, eh? He looks perfect for wrestling sea monsters. When can I try it out? Not now, Quasi. We have a mission of our own, remember? Oh, right. Planting. Coral. Not just any coral. Deep sea coral. And it can only be planted in the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? Why didn't you say so? Let's go! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Quasi. Professor, over there! Uh, perfect, Quasi! Yes, over there! It's our lucky day! Food! Food? What kind of food? How much? What's it look like? I can't see it very well. No, oh, of course you can't. We're gulper eels, remember? We can't see anything very well. I know. I'm over here, by the way. Oh. oh, kind of looks like sea snake. Uh, they're wriggling all over the place. Now let's open our jaws and... <gasps> oh. You get anything? No. You? Nothing. And those aren't sea snakes. Then what were those wiggly things? 
tentacles. Octopus tentacles. Oh, oh, octopus, my all-time favorite. Ooh, we can't let him get away. Uh, hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. Now come on. The deep sea coral should feel right at home here. <laughs> Looky, look. Octopus tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked. Oh, retreat! Retreat! No! Yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulper eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you. Gulper eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? <sighs> ah, hmm. Inkling to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We've planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. I think um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. I've almost got it. It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can. A pirate never leaves his crew behind. Or his tail. Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the Midnight Zone. The sea floor's breaking up. Come in, Captain! Trapped! Giant bombers! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the Midnight Zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting? Sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit! Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, Dashy, Peso, let's go. <laughs> The Gup E. Hmm. They must be down there. It's up to you now, Dashy. We'll monitor your air tank from here, but you'll have to work fast. I'm on it, Captain. Any sign of Professor Inkling and Quasi? Not yet, Captain, but it's dark down here. Activating a searchlight. Bingo! I see them. I'm going in, Captain. We read you, Dashy. Keep us posted. Looks like you two are in a tight spot. Dashy! Don't worry. I'll have you both out of there in no time. <sighs> oh, it's too heavy. Now what? Don't worry, Quasi. This suit has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Activating Jackhammer. One tentacle free, two to go. Well done, Dashy. Now, move the jackhammer to your right and down. I'm still hungry for octopus. Let's swim back slowly. And then we'll open our jaws and... Go! Captain, we've got visitors. Dashy, gulper eels coming up fast. From behind, and they look hungry. Dashy, activate the snack shooter. Great idea, Tweak. Snack time. Food. That should hold him. The second tentacle's out. Just one to go. 
Hurry, Dashie. You don't have much air left. Almost there. But these rocks are really wedged in. Oh, how about a little octopus ink? That might help me slide it out. Good idea, Professor. I'll take a blast of that too, Professor. I'll lift while you two try to wriggle free. We did it, Captain! They're both free! Well done! And just in time! Dashie's almost out of air! Dashie, get back to the gut now! Aye, aye, Captain! Wait! My friend, he's trapped! We can't leave him there. Even if he did try to eat you. Don't worry. We'll help you out. Stand clear. Hurry, Jazzy. Oh, ah, I'm free. Oh, thank you. No problem. Now, let's get out of here. Ooh, you'd better get out of here, too. Oh, no. Hurry, Dashie! <sighs> that air feels good. Good work, Dashy. I'll have you good as new in no time. <laughs> oh, thank you, Peso. It looks like the tremors didn't hurt the coral, Professor. Excellent. Let's head back to the octopod. I could certainly use a cup of tea and some fish biscuits. After all that excitement, <laughs> I'm as hungry as a gulper eel. <laughs> <laughs> do that every time. I know, I'm awfully sorry. The Octonauts and the Sea Sponge. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> oh no, what happened to you? The reef. I got knocked off of the reef. Don't worry. My name's Peso, and I help any creature who's hurt or sick. May I examine you? Oh, so polite. I like this one. Examine away. <laughs> that does sound strange. We'll need to take an x-ray to see what's going on in there. Flappity flippers. There's a tiny shrimp inside you. And there's a sea star and a snail. There are all kinds of tiny creatures inside you. Of course there are. I'm a sea sponge. Oh, but I feel like there's something inside me that doesn't belong. Shellington, we need you in the sick bay right away. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never seen a finer example of commensalism. co -watalism? Commensalism. It means that all the little creatures inside the sponge get a safe place to live, even though the sponge doesn't get anything from them. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you? No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, oh. I say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Uh-oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. Finally, a room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No, there's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, 
Spongoscope, please. All right, this shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little tickle. Having a look in, no. See anything yet, Peso? Aha! Uh -huh. Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? A louse. No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh, no! No way! I'm a whale louse! I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on! Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Both the sponge and the louse are feeling worse and worse. <laughs> Ah, oh, there'd be plenty of whales swimming in these waters. We'll find the nearest one and give the little castaway a home to call his own. Oh, it's not that simple, Quasi. Different kinds of whale lice live on different kinds of whale. We have to work out which whale species this louse came from. I'm running a scan now. There. Looks like this louse came from a sperm whale. There's no time to lose. Octonauts, let's do this! Don't worry, we'll have this louse out of you in no time, just as soon as we find him a sperm whale. There's something big coming up. A vast! It's a whale! Oh, but it's a blue whale, not a sperm whale. Hmm, keep looking everyone. Nope, that's a humpback wheel. I knew that. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Oh, you're feeling faint. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hurry, Captain. They're getting worse. We're coming up on another well now. Uh, can't tell what kind it is, Captain. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, a sperm wheel! Excellent. Peso, you'd better suit up and... Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, you stay away from my baby! Oh, the whale's mother! Sperm whales will do anything to protect their young! Hang on, everyone! The mother whale's not giving up! Peso, Quasi, I'll keep her distracted. You get the louse on her. But how are we going to do that? Mr. Louse, this is it. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, for goodness sake. But this is where you belong, on a sperm whale. I'm just too weak. Hurry, Peso. I don't know how long I can keep her distracted. I've run into some complications, Captain. I'm going to have to perform an emergency lousectomy. Lousectomy? Lousectomy? But I'll need my medical bag. Just tell me what you need, matey! Tweezers, Quasi. I need tweezers. <laughs> now I can't see inside you, so let me know when I'm getting close. A little, a little to the left. Steady. Oh, too far left. Now to the right. Steady. You've almost got him. Steady. And... Gotcha! Oh! Oh! Uh, hey! Hey! I'm home! Ha! 
how do you feel? Oh, now that I'm back on a whale, I feel great! Thanks, Doc! And what about you? I feel great! Captain, the louse is on the whale. I repeat, the louse is on the whale. Both he and Sponge are doing fine. Great work, Peso! This is fascinating. Another example of commensalism. The louse gets a home and the whale doesn't mind at all. But she does mind us being this close to her baby. We need to get out of here. Everybody ready? Ready. Ready, matey! Clear! Yeah. Gotcha! brushed against the reef here. Aye, the louse must have fallen off when the whale knocked the sponge loose. Well, now they're both back where they belong, healthy and happy and... Excuse me! Got room for a few more in there? Of course! As long as you're not a whale louse, I don't mind at all. Come on, fellas! Here we go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a wiggly one! <laughs> The Octonauts and the Great White Shark. Open up and say, ah. Ah. Very good. Say, ah. Ah. Good. Say, ah. Ah. No, not ah. Just ah. Ah. Mmm, parrotfish. Just in time for lunch. <laughs> Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> That looks like a big metal fish! Never tried one of those! Captain Barnacles, come in! What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark! <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum! <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch now! You got it, Cap! <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Yeah, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush! It worked! The shark is out! But look! <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat. And he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. 
Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! 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 oh. Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down, keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... Whoa! As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> you can't eat the cup eggs. Oh, he's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oi, you shark! And you know, see, I'm trying to eat. You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh! My fin hurts, but I'm still going to get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And click. Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. Hee <laughs> <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. Okay, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right o Peso. Nice and steady. <laughs> Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, pal. <laughs> Uh-oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just have to get down to the fin. <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin rack. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Oh no, you're out of your trance. Peso! Flappity flippers! You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey! A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. And so now you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic! Quasi, the shark's after us! No problem, we just need some more speed! Hold on! Quasi, keep away from the shark for as long as you can! Copy that, Captain! Woohoo! I've got an idea! Junip, come in. I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. <laughs> we could go around like this forever. Or not. Oh no, the battery is low. Now we really have to shake this shark. Just hold him up a little longer, Quasi. Aye, right, Captain. Let's load up the snack shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, 
Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. Come on, Sharky. Right this way. Quasi, look. <laughs> Captain, we're almost out of power. Can you get the Octoski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain. Yummy! Bullseye! Yeah, we better get out of here. Uh oh. You're right. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you, which is great, because I love you guys. You fix my friend. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? The Octonauts and the Fiddler Crabs. It's a worldwide mateys! We need to secure the octopod! Already on it, Captain! That should keep us safe. Now let's see how everybody else is doing out there. Activate Octoscope! That little island is really getting pounded by the storm! Zoom in, Dashy! Look! Fiddler crabs! I hope they're all right. The fiddler crabs will use their claws to tunnel into the sand to stay safe. But their beach is getting destroyed by this storm. Captain, the octoscope is gone! Can you track it on the radar? There it is! It must be somewhere on that island. Let's find our octoscope and clean up that beach. Quasi, peso, to the gums. Fiddler cards! The storm is over! But that beach, it's a mess! Oh, oh, it's oh, 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 oh. Silence! We have claws, do we not? We do! We will use them to clean this up. Uh -huh. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> uh, just swimming up. <laughs> it, is a, it is a giant crab! Uh -huh. You! What business do you have on our beach? I'm warning you! Stand back! No sign of the crabs yet. It'll be quite a job finding the octoscope in this mess, Captain. We'd better clear it all away first. Hmm. Look at these tiny balls of sand. Shellington? What do you make of these? It looks like they were made by the fiddler crabs. They put sand in their mouths, eat tiny bits of food from it, and then spit the rest out in little balls. <laughs> Then we must be near their tunnels. We'll have to be extra careful. Octonauts, let's clean up this beach. Huh. Oh, our beach looks good enough to eat. <laughs> oh, oh, this is no time to eat. This giant cat may not be our friend. Hmm, this seaweed just won't come off. Oh, but look! He's giving us a friendly wave. Hello, bonjour! Bonjour! Maybe this will get it loose. Aha! That is no friendly hello! That is a challenge! The giant crab thinks he can take over our beach with a snap of his giant claw. Will we surrender our home to this giant nincompoop? No! no. Then, sideways, march! That's better. Octonauts, the beach looks great. Captain, I'm 
I'm sending you a scan of the beach. I found the octoscope. Hmm, those must be the Fiddler Crab's tunnels. And there's the octoscope, buried in the sand. We'll have to dig it out by hand so we don't disturb their homes. If we start digging right there, and we're very careful to avoid this tunnel... Hey, giant crab! I saw you with your claw. I accept your challenge. <coughs> I said, I accept your challenge! Huh? You think you can ignore me, you yellow bellied crab cake? Ah! <laughs> Fix that! Unzap! Unzap! Ha! Chop! 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 Ha! Oh, and now you try to eat me! Oh, you sorry excuse for a crab! Ha! Ah. Shiver me whiskers! It's the fiddler crabs! And somehow they're being chased by the Crab Z! We have to stop it before they get hurt! Hey, ouch! My claw! I'm a medic. I help We've got to catch up with Ow! Calm down, you scurvy owl! Time to sound the Octo Alert! Octo Alert to the Out Cube! Octonauts, we've cleaned up the beach and found the fiddler crabs. Hello. Oh, but we have a big problem. The Gup D is out of control. It's tunneling under the sand. Dashi, can you track it? Looks like the Gup D's moving fast. The fiddler crabs' tunnels, they'll be destroyed. Then we need to stop it fast. But ouch! These fiddler crabs aren't making things easy for us. Fiddler crabs like to keep their homes to themselves. They wave their claws and snap at strangers who get too close. Unless they let us help them, they won't have any homes at all. Ha! Huh. I will never find her! Shiver me, whiskers! One of those crabs is inside the Gup D! Give us back our leader, giant crab! That's not a giant crab, that's our gulp. Oh, whatever it is, it ate our leader! <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gulp and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. Oh. <laughs> we will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gob! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now! Buttons! Hey, so look out! Lappity flippers! <laughs> Victory is mine! Uh, Captain! The Gup D made too many tunnels under the sand! It's created a sinkhole! Hold on, Peso! Yeah! Quasi, <laughs> give me your paws! Yow! Ah! Ouch! Allow me, mon ami! Octoscope! Octonaut, grab off! Uh, ah. uh, uh, well, we found the octoscope! What now, Captain? We'll have to swing for it! Ready? Ready! Uh, 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 Good work, Octonauts! Luckily, none of the Fiddler Crab's tunnels were destroyed by the sinkhole! 
Oh, thank you! You saved us! Our beach is clean, the giant crab is defeated, and our homes are safe! This calls for a celebration! Hey! Uh, but what about the sinkhole? Oh, don't worry, we will fill it up in no time. Feed the crabs! Let's eat! Eat and spit! 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 Wow! You don't see that every day! There! No more sinkholes! You little mateys must really like that sand! But of course! Excuse me. <laughs> In jellyfish. Okay, Leo. Everything up here looks good. Now let's check your tentacles. Checking. Checking. Still checking. Just one teeny tiny tentacle to untangle. This won't hurt a bit. There. All better. Oh, you are the best doctor in the whole ocean, Hazel. Ah, ah, let us know. Ah. Oh, your stingers seem to be working just fine. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I love to just hug, but it never seems to end well. It's all right, Leo. I'm wearing a sting-proof suit. Besides, you're a lion's mane jellyfish. It's what you do. Ah, you're right. Is how I protect myself and my friends. If I'm a big fish, but that one there try to eat my friends, I keep them the old safari. Isn't that right, guys? That's right, Leo. And you're always giving us food. We couldn't be happier. Which one of you fish would like a checkup and a sticker? Okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble angel. Let's fill her back up with water. Now remember, when the water reaches the lawn space jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as five. First, let's make sure the area outside the octopody is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Suma, Suma! Lift up! Oh, love this part! <laughs> now let's test your tape. Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo! Press Okay, Janet, we're gonna close the door front the bell. Yeah, ouch! <laughs> oh, me, oh, my. Piaf, come in. What is it, Twig? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a... Tentacle type situation. Yourself. 
Peso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. Okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Judith! Neil's things don't seem to bother him. Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Hey, so, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. <laughs> Lords, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course, tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale, their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink. Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain. Peso, you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the dear girls. <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. Try it again, Quasi. This time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. <laughs> well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. This is kind of fun. Does she? Would you like to give it a try? <laughs> Where might those fish be? Out of our way, of course. That's our lunch. And it's getting cold. I'm a Dumbo octopus, to be precise, and I must insist that you seek lunch elsewhere. Or what? Or I'll be forced to use my tentacles on you. Ah, no lions made jellyfish. Those don't sting. Now, out of our way. I did warn you. And now we may uh, get away! No, 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 I can't see! Here they are! After them! Okay, Captain. Your turn. Charm! Hoi! Octonaut, the HQ is now all clear. Let's spread out and untangle the rest of the octopod. <laughs> Inkling, how's it going out there? Uh, well, Captain, we're surrounded on all sides by dogfish. I'm not sure how much ink I have left. We need Leo out here. Understood. Tweak, tentacle report, please. Yo, Cap, the sleeping quarters are all clear. As are all the shoots and working areas. All that's left is... The bubble engine. That's the tangliest tangle of all. Octonauts, this will take all of us working together. No, Captain. It's too complicated. It's not even in the book. I need to do this one on my own. Peso, what is going on? When can I live? We've just got one last tangle to take care of, and it 
It's a big one. Tunip, I'll need you to step outside. You can do this, Peso. <laughs> in a second, but you may feel an uncontrollable need to laugh. <laughs> Captain, we are fully untangled. Amazing work, Peso. Octonauts, prepare for Super Flush. Tweak. Hold on, everybody! Three, two, one, flush! You're going home, Leo! seem to be just fine. Aha! Then I think I'm ready for my sticker! Sticker too, please, Peso. Help me! Yes, please! <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Blobfish Brothers. And here's a picture of my little brother, Pinto. Lovely. Hi. And here's one of my big brother, Pogo. Ah, you look just like him. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Here's me again. Oh, nice picture, Peso. Good one, matey. And here's me, Pinto, Pogo, Piñata, Grandma Perdita, Uncle Pepe, Aunt Pepita, Cousin Petina. Yeah, ha! There's so many of them. How do you keep track of all those relatives? Easily. I love having a big family. We all look out for each other. Captain, it's Sashi. You better come to HQ as fast as you can. There's something you need to see. We're on our way. There's a big volcano nearby. And it looks like it's about to erupt. A volcano? But we're in the middle of the ocean. There are volcanoes even on the ocean floor, Peso. See, we're over here in the octopod, and deep down over here is the volcano. Right now, incredibly hot lava and steam are building up underneath. Soon, it'll erupt. And all that hot lava will come bursting up and out into the water. Wow, that looks dangerous. It is dangerous, but the volcano is so deep down, we should be safe up here. I'm worried about all the animals who live around the volcano. Aye, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, our mission is to get all the creatures away from the volcano as fast as we can. Dashy, Shellington, keep us informed of the volcano's activity. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, into the gup. Week, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. We should see the volcano any second now. Keep your eyes peeled. There it is. <sighs> Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, the volcano is getting hotter and the lava is rising. I'm afraid there's not much time before it erupts. Understood, Shellington. We need to get all the creatures out of here fast. Attention, everyone. 
This is Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. You must all leave here right away. The volcano is about to erupt. Erupt? <coughs> Can't go any faster. Oh no, that sea urchin can't move very fast. Don't worry, we'll help anyone who's having trouble getting away. Put on your deep sea suits. Quasi, you take care of the spiky creatures. This grabber could come in handy. Uh, aye! Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. And I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Yow! Ready. Ahoy there, urchin. Let's get you to safety. Oh, thanks. Aha. There's a slimy one. It looks like it could use my help. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Don't worry, if you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. Whoa! Ah, another slimy creature that might need our help. Excuse me, but shh. Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and I'm Bob. Bob the Blobfish, but you can call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just my tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three Bob Cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, I mean problem. <laughs> Oh, my tentacle! It hurts! I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. You need a bandage. There. Good as new. Thanks. Lean on me, matey. Now let's get you out of here. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, time is running out. The volcano will erupt in the next five minutes. Got it, Shellington. Let's do one last check and make sure everyone's out. Meet back at the Gup A in three minutes. Yes, Captain. Captain Barnacles to Quasi. Is everyone out of your area? Aye, Captain. All clear. Whoa! Get back to the cup as fast as you can. Peso, is your area clear? Yes, Captain. Oh, no. They're still here. It's Bob, Bob and Bob. Captain, there are three blobfish right over the volcano. We're on our way, Peso. Come on, Quasi. Oh, I'm coming for you, Bob and Bob. But you're so far away. Bob! Peso! We have to get you and your brothers out of here. 
Oh, I thought I could do it by myself, but the truth is, I have no muscles. I'm all jiggly like a jelly. I can barely move. Don't worry, we're here to help. Shellington to Captain. You should get out of there now. We're on our way. Hey, so you take Bob. Quasi, you take Bob. Oh, but, but what about Bob? Bob's with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, tickle, tickle here. That tickles. <laughs> Let's go. Good work, Octonauts. Yes, sir, Bob and Bob. It's a good thing the Octonauts got us out of there. I'm sure I'm glad to see you, Bob. I would visit more often, but it's just so hard for us blobfish to travel. But look at us now! We're all on holiday together. Hey, thanks, Peso. No bloblin. <laughs> 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 and the red rock crabs. Hmm, fascinating. Sea stars and snails and red rock crabs? Red rock crabs don't live in this part of the ocean. It's too cold for them. I wonder how they got here. Hello, I'm Shellington. I'm an octopus. Stay back! <gasps> oh. huh? Impressive. I knew red rock crabs were quick, but I didn't realise they were that quick. There's no need to be frightened. I just want to... This way, Chucks! I'm here to help. You'll never catch us! Hey! Uh. Throw his legs, Chucks! <laughs> just can't stand this place. It's cold, there's nothing to eat. And now some big furry thing's chasing after us. Captain! Come in, Captain! Shellington, how are you getting on exploring that island? Well, Captain, there's a bit of a mystery. I found some red rock crabs, but they don't belong here. This island is much too cold for them, and there's not enough food. They won't last long here. I'm going to need help rounding them up and taking them back where they belong. Understood. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we've got a problem with some red rock crabs on an island where they don't belong. I don't know how they got here. But we need to take them back to their home in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos are a long way from here. Can we just load them into the garbs? No, that's the tricky part. They're very hard to catch. Every time I try to get close, they run away. Shellington, we're on our way. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, look, it's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> nice and easy. <sighs> Hello. I'm Peso, and I'm soaking wet. I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh. I'll get my brother onto you. I get away. Oh. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening, and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye. Yes, Captain. We'll round them up faster and you can see a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. 
This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tulip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. <laughs> Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Just out for a stroll, not trying to catch any crabs! Oh, that sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers, it's the marine iguanas! Octonauts! Funny running into you here? Yeah, imagine that! <laughs> Iggy, Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos up here? Go on, tell them, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here, on the, this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here's too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been, uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, Iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> You'll never catch red rock crabs like that. <sighs> I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, chill! Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry! Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, oh, it kind of tickles. All right, everyone. Now that they're distracted... It's those furry guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Come on for your life! Well, what are we waiting for? No, Quasi. It's too dangerous. Not for a marine iguana. Our claws give us special grip. Watch. Only we had claws like that. Let me see those claws again. Knock yourself out. Hmm. You know what, Pistol? I think I might be able to make us some. These are a great invention. Thanks, Cap. I call them Lyman Claws. Everyone stay close and follow me. We need to herd the crabs up to the top of the cliff. We're ready for them, Captain. They'll be safe in here. <laughs> it's working, Captain. Just a little further. Steady. Keep moving forward, Octonauts. Don't worry, we just want to take you back to your home. Take us back home? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, why'd you hit your right? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, good. Ah, two! Ah! Oh, no! Help! 
Octonauts, form a chain. Aye, aye, Captain. We're coming, mateys. Twink, hold me by my tail. You got it, Quasi. Nearly there. Gotcha. Octonauts, let's bring them in. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Thanks for helping us, Chuck. He was just a bit scared before, being so far from home. No problem. But we couldn't have done it without the iguanas. Oh, don't mention it. Now, what do you say we go home? I say, let's go, Chucks! Octomort to the Galapagos. Here we are, the Galapagos Islands. Hey, everybody, we're home! We're just in time, too. I could really do with a snack. Me, too. Come on! <laughs> Oh, that's nice.